Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Gordanian Quest as part of the Indie Game Lightning Round. I was sent this key a little while ago by their, uh, by the PR company handling this. I'm 90% certain it's Vicarious PR. There we go. Uh, so thank you to them. Anyway, so it's a deck building RPG. I don't think it's a rogue. It might be a roguelike. I don't know. There's deck building. There's that. Uh, there's prologue. Do we watch the prologue? Is the prologue just story? Many moons ago, Hidden Earth was once a sprawling mass of land with bountiful resources, until the ancestors, relentless in their quest to exploit the natural riches of their home, conducted forbidden magic rituals that drained the life force from the Hidden Earth. Angered by man's arrogance, the hidden the gods shattered Hidden Earth into many pieces and marred each of them with a different curse. Centuries of chaos and fright ensued. In the darkness, heroes were forged. You are one of the few willing to brave the unforgiving threats of each region in search of a cure for Hidden Earth's curses. Your adventure begins in Westmire. Hidden Westmire lands slowly crumbling under the Hidden Rift, an unholy gateway to the Hidden Nether Realm. You will need to challenge and defeat the Hidden Rift Lord to purge Hidden Westmire of his curse. Why is it hidden? I don't know. It's Hidden Earth. Don't question it. You should, should you survive, remember that it's just the first of many cursed regions. Your hidden quest is far from over. Your hidden journey will be fraught with peril, but you will have might and hidden magic on your side. Your hidden enemies will be strong, but you can grow more hidden than they. The nights will be cold, but your hidden companions will keep you warm. <laughs> now gather your hidden wits and hidden steel, your resolve. Your hidden quest is about to begin. Look, just the fact that it was called the hidden quest, hidden earth just got straight into my brain. I'm in a weird mood today, so we're just gonna go with this. So, we can be Lucius the Sword Hand, Catherine the Cleric, Bertrand the Ranger, Alphonse the Scoundrel, Old Man, and Eda the Druid. Old Man! Alright, let's get going. We're going to be playing on easy because I'm a lazy butt. Uh, roguelike mode? Nah. Easy for the old man! Because I can. Alright. The battle commences! You there! You were the soldiers that came in from the south. With me, the undead ahead looked like nasty ones. You will we'll push through this group and regroup with Captain Roderick and his men in the garrison. If you're handy with that weapon of yours, now would be a good time to use it. But first, stand in front of me, old man. I need you to soak hits for me because I'm kind of a jerk. Alright, uh, let's see. So that guy's on fire, so I guess we're just going to set him on fire and then gain guard. Cool. This reminds me almost immediately of... Steamworld quest, which I'm kind of okay with. Every skill is an action point cost shown in the blue orb in the top left corner. Spend your remaining AP wisely. So I got three in the bottom. I realize uh, there's a little bit of UI that my camera's hiding, mainly just battle, heroes, journal, and map. I figure that's the lightest I can... that's the best I can do. Anyway, draw two cards, keep one in your hand. Oh, fork thought. Cost nothing. What's channel? Ah, let's grab Ice Nova. I'm pretty sure I'm. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna discard it. I'm just gonna gain guard and I'm just gonna end turn. We'll see how this goes. Hell yeah, guard! All right, so we can see their stuff. But yeah, I'm getting a very heavy Steamworld quest with this. But still, nice one. I must admit, I took you for an amateur. But now we must survive this one just yet. By my side, let's take them down together. You get no credit for this unnamed NPC. Instead, you have me with my, uh, Flaming Grasp, Shocking Touch, Flaming Grasp. Oh, my guard went away. Gain two channel, two might, apply one root to self. Channel. Reduce the AP of channeled spells. Okay, so that'd be barrier. Two might. 30% more damage to the next two hits. Alright. Mana charge. Barrier. Alright. That's good enough. I'm just gonna hide, hide behind my shield. As is my right as a citizen of Hidden Earth. Alright. So, what are the buffs? So I still have channel, I still have might, I still have enfeeble. So this is a channeled spell. Cool. Uh, so it'll just like, insta-give something. Quick barrier, forced thought. Let's start with fork forked thought. Grab another flaming grasp, not the most helpful. Uh, honestly, yeah, let's just, let's just uber nuke that guy into oblivion. Aha! Yes! Hit the NPC instead of the old man. Shit! 
Well, fun. Let's move on before more of them come. The garrison is just up ahead. Everybody's gonna have this voice. I apologize. No, I don't apologize too much, but that's okay. Trouble in Westmire. But what kind of trouble? This man got a, a something. Unfortunately, my, <laughs> my character's portrait, not my own, is covering the dialogue. What's happening isn't right. None of this is right. Okay, there's that. Stores in a wretched state stay with broken shelves and counters. The owners long since fled the area. Waypoints off limits. Take it up with the captain if you've got a problem. I have just discovered this game is a sequel to a 1990s game called Gordian Tomb. It's probably not actually, but still, I figured I'd say it. Okay, let's talk to this man. Welcome to the garrison. It isn't much, but it'll have to do on such a short no notice. Where are my manners? I'm Officer Aaron of the Towns Guard. Wish we had met under better circumstances, naturally. This here's our guild hall. We've converted it to house survivors like yourself, so make yourself at home. In the meantime, you should speak with Captain Roderick. He's in charge around here. Captain Roderick. Captain, we have a spellbinder with us. Held his own in battle, from what I've heard. At ease, Officer Aaron, and greetings, Traveler. Uh, these guys are going to have the same voice. I don't even know. Your arrival to our fair city couldn't have come at a worse time. The undead curse that lay lays on this hidden land have been a thorn in our side for centuries, but an attack of this magnitude, unheard of. Foul magic has disabled the waypoints as well. Smells like the work of enemy action, if you ask me. Indeed, officer. Anyway, Captain Roderick's the name. I am in charge of this garrison. We've already evacuated the civilians to a hidden home before this incident with the waypoints, so it's just a battle essential personnel here. The situation's dire. We have got our hands full tending to the injured, so I urge you to help my men push back the undead in the immediate area. The dead outnumber us three to one out there. Mo my most pressing concern now is the garrison's storehouse up north. It's been overtaken by local gangs, but you can wrestle control back from them. It would be great. It would greatly help the defense effort. Leave it to us, sir. I've got a good feeling about this one. Godspeed. Keep your wits about you out there. I'm stuck in this voice. Before we leave, I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. I guess you guys can't see it. Good. I'm gesticulating wildly. I'm also my nose is starting to run really bad. Before we leave, let's see if you can recruit help from the guild hall. Things will go a lot smoother for, with another pair of hands. All right, Sister Ophelia, guild hall. June the blacksmith, guild hall? Guild hall, guild hall. Okay, Lucius, Catherine, Alphonse, and random party member. Hmm. I don't know how many I get. Uh, let's probably grab Lucius. Cool. So, <clears throat> The guild hall is wide and airy, originally designed to accommodate to crowds for the town's festivities. Now it's a temporary refuge for sullen-faced adventurers nursing all manners of injuries. Most shirk away as you approach, unwilling to head back out. You're about to ride off finding a hire when you run into a fellow adventurer. Lucius the sword hand cracks his knuckles, arrived a few hours earlier with a first wave of survivors. Helped out where I can, but I'll be much more helpful out there with my sword. You definitely could use a warrior of his caliber. Okay, so I got two characters, but can I get another? No, shoot. And I cap out at three. Good to know. By the light, you look... Wait, sorry. By the light, you look like you've seen better days. I will do what I can to heal your wounds, but anything beyond that, well, resources are strained at the moment as we fend off the undead. Please do what you can to protect the innocents here. If necessary, return to the sanctuary for further healing. Light guide you, traveler. All right, so we've been healed. Resurrected, give, al give alms. Cool. 50% chance to fate. There's also we can buy herb. All right, cool. What about her? Hi, we can buy stuff. We can buy cool things for people that can't use them. Uh, can I even tell what these characters have equipped? There's the journal. Cool. I'm garbage at these things, so you know what? That's for later. So we have no equipment on, and we suck. Awesome. Let's close the bag if I can. Let's go back to her. So what can we buy? Start battles with one might. Gain lightning resist. Gant grants grit. Ooh. Okay. I don't have too much money. I'm going to buy him grit. Ally on the row attacks. Follow up. Ooh. I'm going to give him that. The axe might have been good. I think this will be fine. So we're just going to chuck the equipment on this guy. Uh, equipment. 
Drag these, drag these over. Tower shield, sure. Like, you know, we're the party leader and we just don't get ourselves anything. Anyway, exit. Ready to head out? We'll have to loop around the garrison to get to the storehouse. Ready as we go. If things start getting too rough, we should head back to Sister Ophelia for healing. Do we still have him as a party member? I have no idea. Restless dead, an undead horde marches upon Silverkeep. Captain Roderick and his men must set up a garrison in the city center and are preparing a counterattack. Aid the efforts by taking out the stragglers in the area. Travel here? Yes! Oh, hi. We still have the guard! Anyway, uh, let's see. So it looks like different characters have different things. So, gain guard, two might to self and allies in selection. For every ally, grant might to self. I see. Okay. Keen strike, slash, or grit. I'm assuming expand is we lose it. So let's. Gain parry. Now let's do Keen Strike on this guy. Oh, which lets me do a slash as well. So we get combo combo cards. That's fun. Let's grab Energize. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm gonna do that. Set this dude on fire. And then I'm gonna energize anyway, just to keep the two channels around. <clears throat> okay, end turn. Okay, so the extra guard was a good idea. It looks like we might be able to heal anyway, so it's not so bad, or it's not that big of a deal, but still. Slash, seal edge. 14 damage per AP spent. Uh, that's, sure, death. Damn. Okay, I'm fine with this. And his turn. And, uh, Ice Nova. Goodbye. Perfect. We just do pure damage, and there's that. And we'll level up at some point. We get gold, and we get another shield. Man, are they just gonna pay me in shields? They probably will. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's go back to the garrison. Can I hire another, another character? Because that would be lovely. Probably not. Available heroes dismissed from party. Okay. Nothing. Damn. Well, it's fine. We'll be okay. We'll just be we'll be nice and durable. <sighs> Battle commences. Perry, 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 Steel Edge. Uh goodbye. I might take damage, but it does not matter. For I am beefy as shit. Well, no, my damage is beefy as shit. So can I okay, I cannot quick barrier anybody else, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, I'll have him quick barrier just because he is eminently killable. Well, he burns to death. Hooray! I'm glad we have this NPC with us to just eat all of the hits. Grit keys, keen strike. Get a. Uh, let's see. I guess that doesn't really help me too much, but that's fine. Shocking touch. What else do I have? I do have ice. Nah. So what does shock do? 20% more damage on the next four hits. Ooh. So that's fun. I like that. So he levels up. What does that do? We also get a flail. 11 damage to all targets in line and when used in battle, gain five armor. Cool. We've gained skill points from leveling up. Spend it on your skill grid by clicking on this icon besides the hero's portrait. You can also access the skill grid from your hero's page. Okay, uh, talents. No? Skills. Skills? Oh, here? Here! That's, that's how we get it. So, random skill. Discard skill. Force. New talent. Skill mastery. Increased max health. Let's head for a skill mastery, I guess. Okay, so we learn a random skill. Force shove. Move a target on to the top or bottom lane. Every time the tar target swaps positions with the teammate, apply five vulnerable. Ice shard, 16 damage. Apply two chill, channeled spell. Chill. Reduces initiative. Oh. You also gain one strength 
dexterity or intelligence based on the skill. I have no idea how that would work. Okay, let's replace the skill. Let us replace Flaming Grasp. with Absorb Fire. That sounds fun. I guess... I did... I, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, Equipment. He gets Shattering Strike. You might actually be able to dual wield in this game. Not big on the uh, Shield Bash. Okay, so let's close that out. And looks like we get a boss. It looks... I have no idea if the guard is... Heals up between battles. I guess we'll find out. An undead horde marches on Silverkeep. Captain Roderick and his men have set up a garrison in the city center. And are per Okay, we already know that. Travel here. Yes. Alright, that is the boss. To paddle! To prattle! Attack of opportunity. Ally in the row attacks. Okay. Honestly, let's just focus on Biggin. Okay. Well, that was some boss. That was some boss, all right. It is dead. I am mighty. I'm also on easy mode, so that would probably account for a lot of things. I'll probably crank it up when I, when I properly play the game. I just, I don't know. Like I said, I'm in a bit of an odd mood, and so it's making me do some dumb things. Okay, we can't do attack of opportunity, but that's fine. Ice Nova, goodbye. I mean, I guess he's not dead yet, but still. Fork Thought. Fork Thought gives me Energize. Eh. Two. These two. Not that we really have to worry too much. Yeah, it looks like the, the guard NPC heals up to full between battles. All right, and we finally get a sword. Draw a card, cool. You've certainly got a knack for staying alive. The garrison should be a little safer now with your help. That leaves our main objective, the garrison storehouse. It's right up ahead through the streets. We had to barricade it off when the from the garrison when the bandits attacked. With luck, we'll be able to deal with them without too much trouble. All right, take back the storehouse. On the way to the storehouse, you pass by three soldiers nursing an assortment of injuries. They advise caution when dealing with the bandits. Front door's blockaded and they have crossbows waiting for you if, if you get in, one of them says. Down the road, you arrive at the garrison storehouse. A bandit peers out from an arrow slit on the second floor. Scram, unless you've got a death wish, he sneers before heading back inside. The front door doesn't budge when you push on it. It might give way with some force, but earlier, the earlier soldiers' warnings come to mind. Search for another point of entry. Okay, skill challenge. Picking an appropriate skill at task at hand. Cool. Uh, let's see. So, pick skill. Int. Energize. Score to succeed, 11. So, uh, yeah. It's exhausted. Recover it by resting in inn, camping overnight, or using certain consumables. Got it. Eh, I'll live without it. Your keen eyes spot... Faint scuff marks on the far wall, likely made by steel toe boots. On further inspection, you spot a few good handholds and an even uneven patch of wall, which you use to climb up the store, up to the storehouse's roof. Officer Aaron assists you with a boost. On the rooftop, you fortuitously find an open hatch door and a ladder leading down into the storehouse. Inside, you spot three bandits on the lower floor. Two of them have their crossbows trained on the front door. The larger bandit, presumably the leader, is rummaging through the various supply crates. With the advantages of surprise, you estimate that Officer Aaron and yourself could take down one side of them. Which one? Take out the bandit leader in the back. Cautiously moving through the rafters, Officer Aaron waits for the signal. The officer lands on large man, throwing him off balance. You follow through, slamming the man's head into a nearby crate to knock him out cold. Two bandits whirl around in surprise, clumsily firing off the crossbows in your direction. Test of reflex. Aaron picks skill. Which is the most reflexive? Goodbye, Perry. It's fine. We have to roll a literal anything to win. Cool. Done. You close on the two remaining bandits and the battle is joined. 
Why did you make me climb that wall? You monsters. Shattering strike. Grit. Pommel strike. Let's pommel this guy right in the face bits. Uh, how do I move? Okay, and we don't have to worry about anything. Quick barrier. Charge. And nobody's burning, so there's no real point in that. Let's see, so have there been a lot of new card base games because Slay the Spire did well? This one maybe is its own thing. Okay. I guess we'll just finish him off. If this one honestly might be its own thing. Other games, though, hard to say. Okay. Can't do too much. He's gonna hit my old man. And then burn to death? No, he doesn't burn to death. But he does get stabbed to death, so there's that. But yeah, I could absolutely see the Ryzen deck builders be being attributed to probably a mix of Hearthstone and, like, Slay the Spire. A victory for us! Let's head back to the garrison. Alright, he leveled up. I forgot about that. Uh, I'll deal with that in a second. We should rest where we can afford the time to. Excellent work out there, Officer Aaron. Head over with some of the reserves to secure the area. Right away, Captain! Now, even as we speak, there are battles being waged on multiple fronts along the outer perimeter of the garrison. A few adventurers like yourself have been dispatched to two checkpoint choke points to hold the line. My resources are stretched thin as it is. I'll need you to head out to support the defense effort. Make sure none of them break through. Alright, so let's heal up. We don't need anything else. We could buy things, but that's capitalism, and I refuse. Uh, let's see. So next up, journal. Don't care. Reading is for nerds. Let's go to this guy. He's got a skill point. What do we get him? Leadership skills. Extra HP, which is kind of pointless. He's a beefy boy. Skill mastery. I like skill mastery, but let's go for talent. So we have a movement attack. It's not a bad idea. Do we replace something? Yeah, let's replace the skill. We have Slash. Slash is boring. Let's replace it with four damage and an opener. That's not a bad idea. Sure. Free free cards are good, good stuff. Okay. It was the Battle Network style game yesterday. Oh, we can get him. Ah, uh, let's see. That was One Step from Eden, which is also a dang good good game as well. So, what do you guys think? Do we go for the Scoundrel or the Ranger? I think the Ranger. He's got goggles. I've got an affinity for Digimon. And, okay, so that area is cleared. So, we're going here. Oh, we do not have the guard with us anymore. Tragedies! Alright, attack of opportunity, no. Parry, show of force, yeah, but kind of not really. Uh, we can do 42 damage to one of these guys. I guess this guy. Uh, let's see. I don't have an opener, so I guess we're just stuck with that. End turn. Uh, let's see. Shock and touch, energize, mana charge, shoot. None of these are really what I'm looking for. I'm just going to channel up. This is going to hurt hurt a bit, but that's okay. We are burning. We are bleeding. It's bad. It's probably why I want the healer sooner than later, but still. Why is this burning? Set cards on hand and on fire. Playing a burning card, take X damage. Ooh, spooky. Oh, can I not hit the guy in the back? Okay, I guess I have to hit him. I guess let's do that. And that hit through the shield. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Yeah. 
do Fork Thought. Grab Mana Charge. I believe I've got two channels, so I bet if I did Mana Charge, we could potentially just immediately pop off Ice Nova. I'd like to kill that guy, but apparently I can't. Oh, and that's going to cost extra. Yeah, I'm going to have him move down. Oh, that's how Bleed works. It's so wasteful, though. So lose one HP when performing the next one action. Okay. So there's no real reason to avoid doing that. Ow. Oh, my old man's going to die. Oh, can't move rooted. I'm just gonna take the fire damage. It's okay. End turn. Let's do Fork Thought. Keep that in hand. Torch him. Whoops. He exploded. Well, these things happen, I guess. He's no longer rooted. Go here. Keen Strike. Flash Cut. Show Force. And Slash. Okay, so things went poorly. I kind of got my old man demolished. I, I think next time we play this, I'll just start with a healer and just go bananas with that. Because, uh, yeah. Ouch. Okay, plus the uh, int base challenges. Cool. Let's go back to town. Oh, the old man is not actually dead. I'm curious. Oh, we have to enter the garrison. Cool. Okay, she is heal. We're healed back up. Cool. Let's go to the blacksmith. Is there anything that I can get? Agility when moving a cell. Strength based challenges. Strength based challenges. Dexterous handling. Gain one speed up. Draw two cards. Ooh. I'll pick that up. I don't really need most of these. But yeah, getting the getting this guy a hand management is actually probably useful. Okay. Extra dexterity. What does even dex what does dex even do? That's not really helpful. Okay. That's fine. Nope, this doesn't work. Okay. Well, let's go let's go rescue this guy. Might get wrecked, but that's fine. Reinforcements at last. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a big group of undead up ahead that need dealing with. Brace yourself. Wonder if you ever thought of doing a podcast type thing. I think you'd be good at it. I've tried podcasts in the past. They aren't uh, They're hard for me to organize. That's that's my big beef with them. Let's see. Like, if I did a solo podcast, maybe I could make it work. Okay, barrier. Let's grab energize, because channel is good. Uh, let's see. Honestly, all in. Energize self. There we go. I wish barrier carried over at least half, maybe? Oh. That... That guy summons friendos. Oh, that's fine. Looks like the archer's a good good idea. So I can only hit the bat. That's almost dead, though. Well, that'll hit it for 15. Which means... I can just absolutely demolish that guy. Cool! Not necessarily the person that I needed to burn, but that's fine. Dexterous handling, speed up. Dexterous handling again, because sure, why not? Uh, let's see, can I... I could move up there. It would be expensive. Oh, I can I can swap with that guy. Hell yeah. Bam. Did that actually... No, that didn't actually do damage to him. That's fine. Hitting the barricade, you fool! Ah, shit, there's more. Oh, there's remaining re reinforcements. I thought the uh, necromancer was summoning them. I understand that this was false. Okay. 
Uh. Do we grit? We will grit. Discard attack of opportunity for reasons unknown. Alright, flaming grasp him. Well, this is easy. The last one was tough. This one, not so much so. How fast can this man go? So fast, you don't even know. Come, final reinforcement. You come at a bad time. Oh. Okay, it's a weird vampire skeleton. I get this. I get you. But first, fast old man goes faster and faster. All right. Uh, if I do mana charge, then I can do ice nova and just needs to give it. Oh, yeah. Old man's a beast. Bleed. Bleed's fun. I mean, obviously, we're taking both. The other end of the garrison may need an aid as well. We should hurry over. Okay, so now we have some talents. Uh, let's grab skill mastery. What are we going to master? Ice Nova? Uh, it's okay. Barrier. I like bo boosted mana charge. Energize ain't bad. Oh, we don't have go fast button. Okay, yeah, we'll do upgraded mana charge. <laughs> Slaps old, <laughs> roof of old man. This baby can fit so much fast in it. Yeah, exactly. All right, new talents. What are talents? Can you use staves? What if you succeed in an int challenge, regain HP. Bonus in events versus animals. Animal empathy. Not what I was expecting, to be honest, but that's okay. He's got one skill point. I guess let's just head for traits. Huh. Ward provides additional plus two agility. Ward upgrade expend. Interesting. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, I see. Never mind going spotter. I should probably pay attention to my stats just a little bit. All right, let's see. So close out of this. Let's go save the other guy. Uh, we're not injured in the slightest. So yeah, we'll save him, then we'll go from there. Over here, the undead are about to break through. To arms! But the, <laughs> this is just such a full party right now. Alright, so what do I got? Tumble. Shift one, discard one, draw one, four agility if a defense card is drawn. Seven damage, prime shot. Can be boosted by error cards. Okay. Next prime shot deals seven more damage if the target is exactly three cells away. Okay, discard one, get dodge, don't care. Uh, let's see, flash cut opener, let's hit the weird caster. Well, that's a good, that's a good round. Okay, forked thought, give me some stuff. Give me shocking touch. So, let's do that plus mana charge. And bury yourself. For reasons unclear. Because it's cheap, I guess. Hey, who's outnumbered? Not us. I mean, technically, there's more reinforcements on the way. Okay. Now we're starting to become outnumbered, actually, rather quickly. That's fine. Okay, spotter, no. Okay, so we're just gonna wail on him a little bit. Movable defense. Okay, so I have to hit this guy in the face. Which is not the most helpful. Well, I guess I'll just give it. Really hoping I could hit one of the other guys. But that's fine. Uh, let's see. Gotta fit some more fast in this old man. He ain't fast enough. 
Hey, nearly fast enough. Ice Nova, goodbye! I'm going to absorb fire from you for reasons unclear. There's no fire. I feel like just NPC that stacks haste should be a D&D &D character. It's just an old man that you can't understand. And he's like blurry to look at. And the answer is he's hasted himself. Like he figured out how to haste himself. The problem is... Uh, let's see. Remove a card. Uh, goodbye, Quick Trap. He figured out how to haste himself. He just never figured out how to... Uh, unhaste himself. Okay. So we got Grit Show Force. Show Force followed by Shattering Strike. That's good stuff. We're not even hurt, so I guess Grit was kind of just freaking pointless, but whatever. It's fine. These things happen. Uh, let's see. I've still got three, so let's do Fork Thought. More hand management. Give me some more dexterous handling. Oh, man, I am handling everything with dexterity. Believe you me. So let's do... Oh. Okay, so I guess I have to hit that guy. Well, I could just give that guy, so that solves problems. Uh, you burn, I guess. And then I absorb your fire and you die. Sweet. That was a good choice. He exists at all times in the same place. Oh, man. Oh, but you can only see him if you haste. If you get two, two people to haste, haste you in his presence, it's the only time the rules are suspended. Okay. Got that. We mana charge. We ice Nova, I guess that that dude into the dust. Oh, speaking of completely random point, uh maybe completely irrelevant to what's going on here. Uh but DD's returning to uh, on Saturday. Which means no Mastorio, but still. D, D is slightly more important. Okay, so what do we have? Not freaking much. We'll shock that guy. Fork thought. Get me Ice Nova. We've got enough channel that we can more or less just blast him hard. And I don't think he's burning, so I'm gonna just... Yeah, it doesn't, didn't do anything. Improved arrow. There we go. And a rebounding hit. Oh, I'm digging the archer. He's a little bit less interesting than the mage, to be honest. Oh, we're still rooted. Well, there it is. Because I can't do shit else. We have got this man on the ropes. Man. Uh, I guess maybe not Not so man. Uh, it's fourth thought. Give me dexterous handling. Can we fit yet more fast on this old man? Yes, we can. question is how fast always faster I will tumble this way cool get rid of spotter I guess didn't really help too much uh, keen strike I can hit him yes and he's dead cool okay grab those not a moment too soon let's head back to update Captain Roderick Back to Captain Roderick. We are here, we are ready. Enter Garrison. With your skills and some luck, this threat may be surmountable yet. We need to start venturing out to better prepare for an extended siege. A ragtag team of yours may be, a ragtag team yours may be, but you'll move fast and attract less attention, plus less casualties from me. And that would be a shame, for my voice is a chorus of the heavens. Anyway, the resident artisans have managed to set up shop in the area, and will need their expertise to give the soldiers a fighting chance. Hear them out and render assistance if needed. Perhaps we might all stand a chance to survive this. 
Don is the name. I run the inn here. We have supplies and energy brews to keep you out adventuring longer. Can never have enough of them. If you're inclined to, I can set you up with a bed and board for the night. Sister Ophelia's healing may take care of your wounds, but it's no replacement for a good night's rest. Greetings, traveler. I'm currently working on a way to restore waypoints, but I'll need to access the library and its veritable trove of knowledge. Undoubtedly, it will be overrun with undead now, and it's also an inopportune time for me to leave this garrison at the moment. If you are able to accomplish this, we may be better off yet. It's good traveler. I have received word from the captain about you. Your assistance would be greatly appreciated. I'm a craftsman. Without his tools, you see, I left them back in my cellar in my rush to find safe haven, as you can imagine. If you were to retrieve them for me, I would gladly be of service to the garrison and yourself. I look forward to their return. Hail there! I have a tiny request if you aren't too busy, of course. The soldiers' equipments need fixing with the constant skirmishes, but the garrison's short on materials. If you could help out in securing my old forge and its stockpile, I'd be better equipped to help in the defense effort. In the meantime, you look like you could use an upgrade yourself. I don't have much, but I'll keep you alive at least. Woo, I'm getting lightheaded. Alright, so rest, restores HP, removes fatigue. How do we even... What is fatigue? I don't even get... Uh, fate. We do a challenge roll. Got it. Supplies. Got it. Coin. Got it. <sighs> okay. So she sells these. That's a sword. That is 100% a sword, not a staff. Is the flare the blade? I am confused. Masters one attack card in your hand and battle start, plus two damage with attached spells. Get that for the old man. Obviously. Okay, so he leveled up. What do we get him next? Okay, called arms, might. Peace to all adjacent allies. That's pretty good. I'm gonna grab Call to Arms. He's the strength guy anyway. Uh, let's see. And honestly, why? Okay, we go back here. Uh, okay, go to the guild hall. I'm gonna add, add him. I wish I could change my like party lineup. To start. Okay, talents. So he's also dex based. Sort initiative, swift strike, or rent. I guess let's take a look at his skills. Guard, guard, guard. Damage. Stab. So it doesn't look like he's bleed or anything. So in that case, I guess that just gets him a skill, which is less useful than I was looking for. Old man gets the cool wand. Uh, we can also give him a sword for some reason. That seems silly to me. Alright. Skill mastery, talent, extra HP, discard. Let's go for a sleight of hand. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got that. This is... Decent, so we have a bunch of side quests that'll get get us some more things. So this isn't bad as far as like a a strategy deck building RPG goes. It's got some good chops. It's a little slow, and I can kind of see where they're going with it. But the idea of this being Act One and there's potentially more acts than this. Like this is the map, but wasn't there like a big world map that we had earlier? I I think so. I could be wrong. One way or another, this there's a lot to this game. I like it. It seems well made enough. Uh, as far as, like, interesting abilities and, like, potential synergies, not quite as ridiculous 
and nonsense. Oh, we can change. Uh, so I'm going to have him mid, uh, front row, front row, mid row. Cool. I don't actually think this guy's a frontliner necessarily, but if I can give him the, uh, the might buff, it's probably worth the offset. Maybe? I don't know. But yeah, the idea of the different cards, the better magical equipment, the different effects along the way, and, you know, working together with a team of three. It reminds me of that, uh, shoot. That card game I played a couple days ago. Look, I play too many games and the, the, the titles are starting to blend together in my head in a really bad way. Uh, Because yeah, I was playing For the Warp a little while ago. Arcanium, there we go. It reminds me of Arcanium, but instead of being extremely punishing, it's more kind of a slow deck building RPG with like a potential roguelike mode, as opposed to the like, you're just always going to die in this game unless you really cheese the game, which I think is a little bit better. Uh, plus you can change the difficulty along the way. I don't know if I can actually change the difficulty at this point, but that's okay because honestly I'm a cheese ball and sometimes playing uneasy is kind of fun, especially if I'm memeing hard. So. Anyway, uh, this game will be out at the end of the month. I'm not entirely sure of a release date. They said something about March 27th. There we go. Cool. Uh, so I guess that's only nine days away uh, as of this recording. I don't know when this is going to hit Steam. I'll probably be back for at least a little bit more as we get there. Because, like, this is pretty fun. I It's well made. And I like deck builders a lot. <laughs> as evidenced by the seven... Uh, 200-something episodes of Slay the Spire on my channel and other things. Anywho, so I guess with this, if you like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more, yeah, I'm going to do more. Oh, and I'm also going to do a whole bunch of other indie games. I've got so many, and so many of them look so good. So, uh, I guess until then, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.